Yeah. All right, so we got MK in the building. How you feeling? You good? Uh, yeah, I'm good. What's going on? Okay, okay, okay. All right, so I'm gonna start this from the beginning, like yeah. from young in days. Like, how did you? Um, how long have you been rapping for? Basically, like, when did you start the whole rapping thing? I say when I was like probably like six or seven. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, you know, like, BT back in the days, like, Lil Wayne, all of them, like, 106 in Park, and they used to have, like, a quick 60 second of the videos, stand in front of the TV and try to learn every lyrics from every every song from all Fox, those Fox. So I just kept doing my thing, and, like, I started writing when I was, like, 10. Went to the studio when I was 11. Made my own track on, like, a CD and everything. Like, an actual studio or, like, a laptop? No, just the attach actual, them, like, like, actual studio. Is that, like, a... A boys and girls club kind of thing. Well, they put on a CD and everything, but I can't have lost that CD to be honest. Maybe one day you can find it and dig yeah, it up all the archives. I wish I could find it. Like, I'll probably remember the song like if I hear it, but I wish I could find that CD. My mom probably had it somewhere. I don't even know. I lie. So um, what? So you said you started when you were six. What do you think kind of made you start rapping? Or you probably won't be able to remember this stuff because it's so I long. I wouldn't like, really remember, but it's like I don't know music in a way. Like I grew up with it, like all types of music, like. Cause my dad's like a DJ and stuff like that, so like music all the time was like me. Facts, facts, facts. So it's like my grandma would sing sometimes, they would rap, everybody would do their own things, so and I just picked up on it, honestly. So, uh, growing up, do you think you were more so into the rap or like R&B or was it a specific genre or? I'd say both. Like I consider myself not to be like a rapper or like a singer, like I'm just like an artist. Facts, I'll facts. Like all of them. I can do everything, to be honest. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, before the rap, did you um have any like did you listen mostly to female artists, like any like young Ma or like any of them or were you more listening to like both or what? It was what always a both, to? but then like when Young and May came out with some she came out when she came out with Ooh and then like her other freestyles, like her underground freestyles, like yeah. even on like Fun Flex and all that, like uh, she was like different, like you know. She came out of nowhere, like she came out of nowhere, like, yeah, like and I picked up on that kind of vibe and people kept like getting that energy off of me so you know I just kept giving them what they wanted basically. Facts, facts, facts. Alright, so um what uh big artists, like if you had a choice to collab with any big artist, it could be a female artist or a, a male artist, what which one would you collab with? First one would probably be Lil Durk. You could do a track where it's like you and like two other rappers. So okay, you Lil Durk probably, and then... me, Lil Durk, probably have Money Bag Yo. Yeah, he's saying probably a little bit of a boogie with the little melodies and stuff like that fox 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 so um <clears throat> do you think it's like currently harder right now for female artists like to come up because like people are kind of more taken in the male artists or do you think that it's like an even playing field or not no nah, at that i think <clears throat> people don't really recognize the female artists because like, the female artists now is like they're not really more into like the lyrics it's more like to the image and stuff like that no one really listens Facts. to what like what they're saying Wanna. so it's like when i come out with my when i come out with my shit and i be spitting stuff like most people be listening people are starting to pick up people are starting, starting to pick up so it's like i gotta keep saying i'm a female artist i got this i be doing it like people gotta understand people gotta know because right now it's all about the image and like it's camp you gotta make it like also as females you gotta make it more than that like I personally know a lot of female rappers from Toronto who can spit, but like they won't get as much recognition and all that because yeah, cause social media, like people just like, you know, they're just like, looking like they care about the drip or like you know they That's what I'm saying. They care about they don't care about the actual talent. Facts, facts. They don't care about all that. It's like the image is almost more important now than the music. Really, if almost, you don't look like. good, then you don't make the cut. Facts, though. It shouldn't be like that, but it's it's unfortunate. That's how it is, you know. Like, you, it's crazy stuff. But, um, so you're from the East then, right? Scarborough, yeah? Yeah, I'm from Scarborough still. Okay, okay. So, do you think, um, Scarborough affected the music that you make? Do you think there's a Scarborough sound or, or there's no, like, specific East End sound or it's all the same, like, Toronto's the same? I feel like Toronto has its, like, own specific sound, but then, like, everybody can change it up in a way. Facts, Like, facts. there's always a new sauce every single day. There's always, there's always something new. There's, somebody's always coming with a different flow. A different with them sometimes it's the same flow but then it would sound sick coming from somebody else mm. it's just it's crazy it's like every every different neighborhood kind of has their own again like, yeah, everybody own has their own but then sometimes when you pick up on it and then you do it the same thing like, you do it it might not sound the same it might not sound the That's same true, or you probably did it even better facts 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 
That's true stuff. So um, yeah. So growing up like in the East End, like there's so much like bullshit politics going on and like so much crazy stuff. Do you like feel like that kind of affects the music industry, or do you kind of like try All and stay away time. from it? I'm telling you, like if there was no politics. It's like you seen that one picture and I was like ATL rapper and you're just around Yeah, around yeah, yeah, and they're, cases. yeah, exactly you They're like big goo up at the top helping everybody out You know what facts. I mean? You don't know who's at the top at Toronto Everybody's just getting gunned down, dropped Like, if everybody just kept it real on the big one thing Just just stayed focused, you know? Stay like, focused, yo, stay focused on your grind Focus on what's, you know, what's in front of you uh, Don't you worry about next man or next girl or whoever I think we all like, be in the same spot or all be coming up together like it's crazy true, so everybody's nobody wants to see each other win like everybody's nobody. just, just moving selfish and shit it's crazy so um all right so in your opinion what do you think is like the realest bar that you ever wrote like just one specific bar that you think is like the realest i don't know if not if you don't remember a bar then you're the realest track that you ever made like this track is like the one that resonates with me that's actually like probably i'd say me versus me the track yeah. that i've been working on for like months i'm gonna drop it soon oh so you know, it's not even released yet it's not even released yet but a lot of people like who follow me like they really want me to drop it they probably heard it from like last year okay. i didn't have the, have the video and everything but i just didn't drop it yet uh, so what 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 do you think stands out about that track because like is it like, like i really like it tells like a story about me and like let people know that like I'm really doing this on my own and like I don't really need like I don't really need, I don't need anybody like I, it's and there's no competition in front of me like it's just me versus me, me versus like, me yeah I wouldn't I'm not gonna say nobody's better than me I'm not gonna say I'm better than this person like the only person that I'm competing with my, is myself type Facts. shit not competing with nobody else Facts, that's real stuff alright so um in your opinion, what do you, what do you take in more? Like, do you take in more of the bars or the melodic stuff? Cause right now it's kind of like either or. You got Lil Derek with the melodies, and then you got other rappers that are just straight bars. Like, what do you try to focus on? I, I really focus on both because you can come on a track straight bars, but then the track can be so dry because you don't have certain melodies. Where you can come on a song and you're just doing all melodies singing all types of shit and there's just no bars it just sounds stupid like you just really gotta work on both and put it together and then they just just make magic with it uh, so you gotta balance it out you know like you have yeah you have to balance it and it's for it to be perfect yeah facts. in my opinion the best tracks are the ones where it, it's bars throughout the song and then the, the hook is like melodies like, you yeah know? like those you know, ones like, are... when you give it the right sauce then you got facts. it that's facts so um Right now, like social media, like a lot of like craziness is going on and shit, like with like DJ academics and all that shit. Like, how, how do you feel about what's going on right now, like when it comes to social media? Like, people I are honestly, kinda... like, I try not to really pay attention to it. Like, I see it every day, yeah, but it's like, it's not really putting money in my pocket. Like, honestly, like, I just keep. That's facts. Keep pushing. One day I'll be on there for my, for being recognized for my talent. Maybe not. And like social media, like the, sometimes like people just they kind of bandwagon and shit. Like one day they'll fuck with you, the next day they won't. Like you don't know. Like it's crazy yeah, on social media. Don't so. have time for all that. It's crazy stuff. All right, so um, any like specific like mixtapes or albums or tracks you got dropping like soon? I haven't like probably like haven't really worked on like a mixtape or album yet. But like the amount of songs I have could be a lot of albums and mixtapes. Just have a lot of features and. A lot uh, of freestyles, just everything is in the vault. You're in the stick. I've been in the studio probably like every single day. Okay, just okay. Putting freestyles, anything, writing down shit, putting it on a track, doing it. I have a video coming out just now. I'm waiting for the cameraman to send me like a week or so. I'm uh, gonna push the preview out there and do that. And just keep it going from there. Just keep, I'm, trying to drop, I'm trying to drop more videos this year, more music, do everything. Okay, okay. Any like shout outs you want to make? Like any other rappers like that you know personally you want to shout out? Nah, shout out to the Amanda from the end too. Okay. Shout out to the Maya Hood, Nam Sand, the Danzig City. A lot of people don't okay. know about that. Shout out to the G Way Madam too, you know what I'm saying? Madam, it's mob ties in the East End. You know what I'm saying? Because my white and things are going up. Facts. You know what I'm saying? We're about to go up. We're going up too. It's not even just me, it's me way too neat. You know I'm saying? You got Busy Kid, you got. You got DCB Noonie, you got, you got Velo, you got everybody. 
All of us from the east side are all from the same hood. Niggas don't even know about that. Facts. They're all coming up, fam. Uh, all right, so that was MK.